question I hear a lot is, how do you get into user experience design? Where do you even start? And it kind of reminds me of how I was when, when I was a teenager, I, I started learning guitar. And on the first lesson, my, my teacher came to me and he said, okay, what do you want to start with? And I was like, I want to start with this. And he looked at me and he said, how about we start with this? The A string and the D string together. When you do that, that is called A5. And I feel the same about user experience design because the term user experience design, it actually includes so many skills inside of it. It contains obviously the design, the basic core of design such as layout, typography, hierarchies, telling visual story and so, and so on. It also includes stuff like psychology, understanding how people use products, what do they think, what are they afraid of and stuff like that. Understanding usability and understanding technology, what platform are we working on, What are how does it work this platform, what are the technical limitations. So there are so many skills if you want to create a good user experience design that you cannot really start by you know doing everything you have to start at the beginning and in my opinion the beginning is the design because at the end user experience design is about design so unless you have the core abilities of design again those are the basic things like typography layout communication visual communication if you don't have that then learning about all the i don't know what the the tricks and hacks of you know usability and stuff like that are not gonna are not gonna work now i don't really believe in that division between user experience and ui like if there's somebody who's ux and he can do like wireframes and then the u the ui designer is going to just make it beautiful because if the ui sucks then the whole experience sucks, you know? So you can't, so everything is actually the user experience design, so you can't really separate it. And so again, you can't, if you're just a beginner, you can't start knowing everything, and that's fine. Um, I recommend starting at the beginning with the core of design knowledge, and then starting picking up on the other skills such as usability, psychology, technology, and stuff like that. I usually do that by reading books, which is very different from learning design because a design, which is a skill, is something that you just have to do. You know, you have to create a lot of designs over and over again in order to improve, while other stuff, which is more theoretical, like psychology, usability, it's more stuff that you can read in the books. And I do recommend you reading those books along practicing your design, but without the craft, without the skill of basic design, I don't think there's any way you're gonna be a UX designer. Anyway, that's my thought about that. Today I'm doing client work and it's lunchtime. I'm working on an app design today. So I'm gonna head out to meet Adi, a designer friend which I haven't met in a while. Grab lunch together and have a good time. So fun that the storm is over. I can finally ride my bikes again. Check out what just came in the mail today. Remember I told you last week that I've had a talk with my client that I want to kind of move into a higher level management level and not deal with the, you know, needy greedy design of everyday job. So I've kind of convinced them that we need to hire a junior designer and now I've actually started looking for a designer for them. So I have a tool that we created at the new school that's called My Designer Friends, which is kind of a tool to send job proposals to designers in Israel. Um, so I've actually just now started using it myself to look for a designer to replace me. So this is how it basically looks. Um, people basically usually fill in here what they're looking for in a designer they fill in all sorts of stuff the questions why should you work for them and i've filled this 
and this is kind of my job offering. Um, it's really relevant to what we've been sp speaking about yesterday with writing because now I have to write to somebody else to try to convince them to come work with me and it's not as easy as it sounds. So I'm going to send this now, it's going to send it to about a hundred or so designers in Israel which I trust and hope to see that perhaps one of them will want to come work with me. All right, and it is send. Hope for a good luck to find some good designers. Anyways, I'm going back to work and then spend the afternoon with Tommy. I will catch you guys tomorrow. Oh.